What's up? And thanks for clicking in. My name is Jason, and in this video, I'm going to give you three reasons that Polkadot will overtake Ethereum as the number two cryptocurrency. <laughs> if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you strongly believe in the future of blockchain technology. It's undoubtable that blockchains can help us evolve into a world of permissionless trust. By nature, blockchains are transparent and decentralized. And by default, that allows us to interact in a way that involves less trust in people, leading to more truth of information. One of the biggest differences between Polkadot and Ethereum is also the top reason that I'm attracted to the Polkadot project, and that is their differing philosophy on network design goals. On the one hand, you have Ethereum, and they want to be a platform for distributed finance and smart contract execution. And that's cute, but it's a little bit small-minded if you ask me. Polkadot, on the other hand, has a much broader vision, enabling people to build entire blockchains and then integrating those chains to work in a complementary way with one another. And this leads to the second reason that I'm so high on Polkadot, and that is they're introducing the concept of parachains. And parachains are similar to what Ethereum is doing with sharding. However, in my opinion, parachains are a much more thought out and scalable solution. Let me explain what I mean by that. The goal of both methodologies is to increase network throughput on the blockchain. In turn, this improves the transaction speed. Parachains are designed so that anybody can create their own parachain. These are specialized blockchains that execute a specific task for the main relay chain. And because these blockchains only handle one specific task, they can operate at an extremely high rate of efficiency. The main Polkadot relay chain may have a hundred parachains processing transactions simultaneously, and this method increases network scalability, and specialization of the blockchains helps improve the overall transaction speed. If you think of parachains like a sports team, every player on the team has their position or role that they're responsible for, and they practice to perfect that role in order to help the overall performance of the team. And the third reason I'm betting on Polkadot to overtake Ethereum is Gavin Wood. And most of us know that Gavin Wood created Ethereum. He then left to start another project. And that project has evolved into what we know today as Polkadot. Now, I don't know about any of you, but I generally improve my production if I get a second crack at doing something. Not only was Gavin Wood the founder of Ethereum, he was also the company's CTO and person responsible for writing Solidity which is the programming language of the Ethereum network. So this guy is taking everything he learned from building the Ethereum blockchain and looking to improve it in every way at Polkadot. All right, I just wanna show you a couple things here real quick. If we look here, this is CoinGecko. This is the top 100 coins by market cap. And of course we have number two is Ethereum, market cap just over 61 billion. And if we come down here to number eight is Polkadot. And Polkadot has a market cap right now of 5.2 billion. So if we think about that, Ethereum has a market cap that is just about 12 times greater than Polkadot. So if you take my prediction that Polkadot will overtake Ethereum, you would think that this price is going to sharply increase. I'm not saying it's going to increase by 12 times, but I would not be surprised to see the price of DOT token somewhere between $75 and $100 within a year. And lastly, just a quick update here on how it's going with me staking. I am staking using the Kraken platform. So I did deposit 114 DOT and then 350, and then I had one extra, so I thought, what the heck, I'll do that one extra. So I have this total amount staked. I've been doing this for about a week and a half, and they do pay out twice a week. So you can see these increments coming here, they call them the rewards. So, so far I've earned 1.52 DOT. I started this when DOT was about $4.20. Currently at the time of making this video, it's around 550 to 562. So it is going up positively and the rewards are coming in as promised. So I think I'm gonna keep it here, holding this investment for now, and I will keep you guys updated. Let me know what you think about Polkadot. And until the next time, be safe.